it's a, it seems to be yeah, a I'll tell you what, it's a great duel. What a great, you know, both teams work hard. The kids all know each other. They know what they're going to do. You know, so it's kind of like you just have to wait for that right moment. You know, Loudon was waiting for that right moment. He's explosive, isn't he? He's unbelievable. Loudon really got us going. We were a little flat. I'm not sure why. We had a great first match, and then the Elder um, just kind of slowed us down. They, were, they have a very nice team, too. And we kind of just lost a little bit of fire. And then he, he came in, and I think that, I don't know if you guys thought, but I think that, come on in here, bud. That kind of really exploded us, you know. He's, it, he has, he, he, believe it or not, he lacks a lot of confidence. If he, he would just have that all the time, he doesn't know how good he really is. But we love him to death. I mean, that definitely was a turning point. And then yeah. your heavier weights really yeah. came through. Yeah, you know, we know that they're going to do that. Yeah. You know, it was that middleweight. We had a, you know, uh, Clay Wanger was uh, hurt in the first match. So we couldn't use him. So that kind of threw us off. That's why we had to throw in, you know. You just never know. That's why you bring all the reserves. That's why it's a team championship. Truly a team championship. What you say? What do you got to say? What, ha what, ha what happened to Clay? Oh, he just got a little bruise. Something that we didn't want to aggravate. It's not worth it. You know, and uh, he probably could have gone, but, you know, why aggravate it? We need, you know, this is a uh, halfway point in the year, and we don't want him to not train now for the next couple of weeks. You know what I mean? Right. So. Is there, is there any gamesmanship with that lineup shuffling at all? Absolutely. Or, yeah, yeah okay. we knew what they were going to do, and they, we kind of, I think the uh, the move um, that um, kind of be beat him was Corey Jones. Get, uh, he wrestled Seiko tough. Corey is tough. He's beat some really good people this year. And that uh, senior stepping up like that, would you say? Yeah. Corey, you know, they expected uh, uh, to give a pin there, I think, or at least a, a tech. And I don't think he got even a major, right? Am I right? I think it was just a, a thanks for coming. You know, it was just one of those. So that, I think, kind of backfired on them a little bit. Is any of that trying to keep guys from seeing each other at this point? Yeah, yeah, year? absolutely. That's some of it. And it just some of this is the matchups, you know, trading off. And, you know, you guys got to remember, Jamie Clark is out of the line. Right. You know, so with Jamie Clark, it's a whole different thing. You know, so we had Brad Squire out last year at this time. We were real happy. We voted for him MVP, you know, and uh, he's very solid. So. Can you talk a little bit about Busey? I mean, Isn't that nice? Yeah. His first uh, two matches back. Yeah. Well, he, he wrestled the other night at Thursday. He wrestled uh, against Revere and looked outstanding. You see, he looks he looks powerful, doesn't he? Yeah, Busey's back. Oh, that's great. But he's in a lot of shape. A lot of shape, but, you know. Not bad. We were feel, we were feeling confident. That's why we didn't wrestle in the last match. Okay. We just didn't wanted to wrest him there, just so that he had a good match in him. Is this three straight blue meets then against St. Louis wins? I think. The last two years. The last the way I count. <laughs> what does that mean being able to be? Uh, I'll tell you what. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, that's pretty outstanding. These are a great group of kids here and parents and. In our communities, that you know, outstanding support, and, and you know, you notice that afterwards we just shook their hand. It's not a, you know, we we have the ultimate respect. They've got 13 titles, you know, state titles. You know, duels is the middle of the year. It's a great thing for our place and community, but at the same time, you know. We, we got to show up at the state tournament this year. It's obviously a great barometer heading into the district. Oh, absolutely. You know, we're going to see him at the districts this year. It's kind of amazing that powers to be, how they put that together. <laughs> I'd like to have been in that room when they decided that. Speaking of the state tournament, you guys have four huge scores and four potential champs. They have four huge scores and four potential champs. What's it going to come down to to win the state title this now, year? It's going to be like a fluke. You know, I wouldn't say fluke, but it's going to be like one of those Gordon matches, you know, that it, all of a sudden out of the blue, some, you know, you know how that is down at the state tournament. Um, also is going to take um, some other teams. And everyone keeps saying good luck. Well, you know, there's 77 other teams, right? Or how many are there? There's usually 96. Okay, 96 teams need to help us. You know, if they want another person to take the state crown, it's got to, we got to get some help. I mean, there's no way we're going to beat them one on one down at the state tournament. It's just not going to happen. How big was Gordon's match? Oh, that was huge. What, you know. what did they do for you? I mean, he's he's just that kind of wrestler. He's so explosive and so funky. You saw him get out of that one. Yeah, uh, it's yeah, it's just a scramble. But he actually hits all these stuff in practice. It wasn't I mean, a scramble, right? Uh, I'm not even sure. What was that? They had my legs and like most of his legs. Okay. Well, he does stuff in the room. I always have to. I have to actually tell him not to do that stuff because it can injure some of our other kids that aren't ready for some of that stuff. You know, because he just likes doing that. You know, shot out of the camera. Yeah, 
Yeah, he is. He's explosive. And you know, he had what three or four pins on at the state tournament last year. You know, so I mean, he's a pinner. He pinned Miriman in overtime. You know, at the North Canton final, it was zero zero or one to one. And then in a sudden death, 30 second sudden death, he got in a scramble and pinned him. So. Talking about the way you closed it out, it was a one point match. You went five in the last six. I mean, talk about just the way you guys stepped. Yeah, the place um, there. our upper ways. You know, you don't. There's probably not going to be a, a nicer team than this. You know, the, the last one goes back to, uh, ironically, Bart Randolph's. You know, with, we had Rick Whelan, Bart Randolph, and Matt Randolph. Those three, we call them. I mean, there, there's no finer people than that. So it's been that's been 20 years. So there might not be 20 years where you have, a, you know, Brandenburg at 60, 50. I mean, I'll tell you, 60, 71, 89, 215 every way. It's great. You get both signed back. That's a big deal, too. What's that? Getting boosted. Yeah. That's a big deal. Houston was huge. And, you know, he's been training in our room. We've been holding him back on a, with, a, uh, with a leash. And he wanted to wrestle the elder match, and I held him out because I said um, we needed all his energy for that, for the heads match. You could tell he, he started to get a little tired there. Talk about the character you guys got. Last year, you had to come back twice to do it. This time, you kept it really close. It's kind of like, hey, we know how to do this this time around. Um, I just think we have more experience like that. I, I think last year, I think some of the kids believed and not all of them. You know, I think they didn't even know some of them what it was all about. And I think now that we've wrestled them and we go to the Iron Man, and our schedule helps this, and there's no doubt. And our off season with freestyle and going to Fargo, I mean, it isn't just going against them. It's a lot of the other factors that we have. Our weight room. And just all the way through getting ranked, I think that helped. Yeah, you'll move up a few spots. Well, hey, whatever. You know, we that just helps mentally to know that you're you're there. You know, and uh, we appreciate. Should be it recognized all. when. I don't know when St. Ed's lost like this to a public school in Greater Cleveland. You'd have to get the historians out. Uh, when was the last public school to beat in Greater Loud. Cleveland? Just yeah, hang sure. on for a second, okay? To beat St. Ed's. You know, you'd ever find a way to get out of rolling up pants. <laughs> huh? Huh? Will the healthiest team win the state title this year? I'm sorry. Well, the healthiest team won the state title this year. I would say, yeah. I mean, you know, um, you know, we got to keep Houston healthy and you know, all these guys healthy, really. I mean, it, everything has to. You know, we were a little sick at, at state last year. You know, we didn't make any excuses, but I'm saying, if you're not on, this sport is so. You know how it is. It's only six minutes. There's no. You don't have time to recover. What was the margin of the last two wins over state last, last year? Two points, the first one, and I think it was. It might have been two or three to make second. Like three. Remember? Well, we you know what? Uh, when we get back on, watch with wrestling back on. Okay. Yeah. No, no, so what is it? I mean, do you think your kids have the right perspective on what this means today? And if not, I mean, you still got St. Edward in your sights for March. Oh yeah, I mean, we're already thinking about it. Getting ready for the next match, you know. I mean, these are these guys are phenomenal. They never get a big. Hit. We don't allow you to get too big of a head. You know. You know, I mean, they're pretty focused. Group. I mean, they, you know, this is a good win. They're going to get the day off tomorrow. Um, you know, we wrestled what seven or eight days in a row now, so we're going to take tomorrow's going to be our Sunday off. Well, John, you go to church and pray. And all that. Just be saying that by double figures. You say this is a good win. Double figures? Is it? Was yeah. it? What was the final score? score? Okay. So, you say this is a, this is a good win. 36 23? It's a little more than that, though. Well, I think it, it just um, tells the kids that we're on track to, 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 to do it. You know, to, but it's still early. You know, it's still early. we got to keep working. We see a lot of things that we got to make corrections on. And, uh, you know, Menor, Menor was a tough team. We handled them real well, like I said. Against Elder, we kind of flattened out a little bit. I don't know if everyone kept watching the Eds match. Everyone kept peeking over there, and I kind of got upset <laughs> because they were. I think they were focused on that, and they were anticipating that a little bit. And I didn't want to be like Perry was last year. You know, they. I think they kind of overlooked this last year a little bit, and I didn't want that to happen against Elder. Elder's got some tough kids. Last year, when you won, you guys talked about winning the state girls championship. How big is the up? Is this one just as big as last year? Absolutely, everyone is. Hey, to have two, to have two of these is pretty doggone good, I would say. Thank you.
Yeah. What about you Brad? You start Squire. talking, I'm going to make you start writing up. Uh, I think Brad back. He's in the all room. the way back. Brad He's Squire. all the way. I'll yeah. tell you what. He's I all the He's the MVP back. in my eyes. I mean, he he wrestled outstanding today. He led this team to a state championship. He's he moved him up twice. He's all the way back. Man. He's all. I mean, he wrestled 152 Are you today. With the, way the, the strategy worked out for you today. And yeah, absolutely. Guys around. Yeah, I mean, we have. I mean, our kids are wrestling anywhere they want. You know, we just keep wrestling. You know, we don't back down. You notice we didn't get many stalling days. Right. None of them did, really. You know, so we keep going. Will there be a rematch? Last year there was a rematch at their place. Is there a rematch this year? No, there's no rematch. We couldn't hook that up. Um, we have Paris Graham as the replacement. And you're going down there? Yeah, we're going down there on a Friday. So, yeah, that's not to February 5th, so we got a, about a month to kind of catch Wait till Jordan gets this score. Oh, I know. Wait till he Jordan. gets this score. I'll tell, tell be... Jordan, please. His you're telling his... him. How about you're telling hey, him right hey, now? Hey, Jeff, your boy's back, and you got Martinez back. You know, you got to give us a couple points when we come down there. <laughs> All right, hey, Coach, congratulations. Thank Thanks and, for covering uh, us, too. And we will uh, we'll be seeing you down the road. Thank you.